Hey y'all, it's Megan. If you are returning to my channel, welcome back, and if you're new, welcome aboard. So, this is gonna be a non-Disney week. Uh, we went on a trip to Sanibel, again. <laughs> so, this week is going to be another trip video, and I'm going to just kinda of take you around, and in this video, I focused mainly just on the beach walks that we did, the shelling that we did, because that's pretty much all we did. So, that's what the video is today, and that's why I'm still sitting in front of a Christmas tree, even though it is January. So um, this is our shell tree. Let me just kind of show you here. We are going to keep adding to it, but everything on this tree is seashells. So I kind of want to keep this up year round. Don't judge me. I love a Christmas tree and it makes me very happy. In my mind, if it's just seashells, then it doesn't count as being too weird so that's what I'm doing so let me stand up because those lights are really making making my camera mad so that's what we're doing in today's video I'm just gonna walk you around show you the beaches that we went to show you the shells that we got um, so I'll put insert some pictures here actually at the beginning here's some of the shells that we got you can see some of the bigger ones that I'm holding alphabet cone and an olive those are some of the bigger ones that we found and we actually found quite a few of both of those kinds and you'll see them in the collection stuff that I put down these were kind of pictures that we took at the ends of each day. So like there's one day and another day and they're all currently residing in a five gallon Home Depot bucket right now. Very organized. So uh, I can't like lay them all out and show them to you right now, but uh, eventually they will all also become beautiful ornaments or they will be added to our lamps in our bedroom. They're fillable lamps that we put like not perfect shells because all shells are beautiful and wonderful in their own special way so even if they're not perfect they still get used and they get put into our lamps so that's kind of what we gather shells for is for decor because our house is slowly but surely turning into a beach house i'm not mad at it so that's what we're doing today hope you enjoy We were stupid for being up this early. 704. Uh. Huh. The honey pot is down there. They learned. We must protect the secrets. Yeah, there's a nice little rack line down there. Lots of birds. Like there. Alive. Alive, alive. 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 <laughs> He's like, sir, please eat me back into the water. Oh my lord! He's like, what? <laughs> Am I on your shell, dude? I'm so sorry. I'm you. All right, put him back. Be free, buddy. The Chuck Norris sound effects are really adding something to this whole experience. Buddy, you, you 
you're alive. You need to get back in the water. Hold on. We don't want you to sting us. Come on. Hold on to the shell. Hold on to the shell. You got him? Is he holding on? No! Come here, buddy. Come on. Hop on the shell. Hop on the shell. Hold on. Oh. I don't want to squish him. There you go. There you go. Back to the ocean. Back to the ocean. It's like flipping you off. It's like, dang it, dude. Come on. All right, bud. Be free. Flip back over. There we go. All right. Sunset beach walk footage. Roll oh, that beautiful beach footage. jars in the bathroom. We got a lot. Oh, yikes. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's kind of that orange creamsicle color too. Is that a, is this a calico clam? Is that what these are? Yeah. He's really shiny. I don't know if you want any more of these. Yeah. We've got a couple. Huh? So we, I know we've got a couple of those. I don't know if you want more. Get on the Is that a oh. Ooh. There's another syrup. Yeah, okay. Look at that. That was pretty. Oh yeah, that's good. Another little guy here. Just gonna pick up all the Saras. Huh? That's apparently what I can find today is Saras. Here's another little calico clam. Oh, he's cool, yeah. This guy's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so Welcome to the bar. Uh, yeah. Oh, 
Tiga. just wanted to pop on because if you are out at this time of day, whether it's in the morning or at night, sunrise, sunset, if it's dusk or dawn, uh, noceums are out. And you may not have heard of noceums, but they are basically flying teeth is another name for them. They are just the tiniest little bugs that you can't see, noceum, and they will eat the living daylights out of you. So uh, make sure that you are taking something to protect yourself from those, uh, whether it's like long sleeves so they just can't like get through or some kind of bug spray. We've tried multiple different ones and this is the best one. So I just wanted to show you like while I'm thinking about it while we're out here because we just used some of this. Uh, we didn't have it on before that the sun started going down and we were like, oh, something bit me. So we sprayed it on and we've gotten each like maybe one or two more bites since then, which is astounding because these things will swarm. It's little bitty gnats, like they're teeny tiny, but it hurts way worse than like mosquitoes. It's like little bitty pricks all over your entire body. It's even worse if you're wet. So if you're at the beach, specifically down, down here in the south area, uh, around dawn or dusk, try yourself some new, no, no, no seals, because that's the only thing that we found that actually kind of works. It is loud as heck out here. Yay. We're just looking for some shells. Always, always looking for some shells. So, of course, conk. Are you alive? Are you alive? Yes, you're alive and you're holding on to something. Well, let's put you back in the water. <laughs> I've been, uh, like, my friend told me that I was, like, the opposite of Ariel. She's like, Ariel collects everything from the land and brings it underwater, and you are just collecting things from the sea and returning them. That's all I'm doing. Here So, that's what I've been doing this week is saving live shells and octopi and crabs and everything else. I haven't even really looked for shells because I've been returning sea creatures to their habitat. So yeah, the entire point of this rant was get yourself some bug spray. not sandals to the beach. One must navigate through the trees so as not to get the socks wet. There's the causeway. There's the lighthouse. We're turning back to the mainland. 
It just lit up. It's lighting up. I've never seen it light up. So that's it for today. That was our trip to Sanibel. Like I said, just the kind of the beach footage that I took. I didn't really take much footage anywhere else. But if you are interested in the places that we ate and the foods that we ate, I did take pictures and like have notes and stuff on all of those places. If that's something you're interested in, I could definitely do another video, just like a real quick one, a bonus video at some point of like the places we ate, what we had and what we thought of each thing. If you're interested, let me know down below. I don't know. I like listening about food, but I don't know if that's y'all's jam. Uh, so, you know, just, just let me know what you think. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.